if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, Shane from HowToRinse.com, and in this video I'm going to uh, show you how bad batteries can really affect your results in a piece of measuring equipment or inspection equipment. And I'm going to just do a little reminder video to show you how to actually test those batteries with that cool little Harbor Freight tool that I made. So I'll have a link to how to make that in the video as well. But let's just let's just jump in here and, and tell you what's going on. So I'm using a bore scope to basically look down a cylinder. Uh, my One of my lifts has a leaking cylinder. And I'm working on repairing it. And yes, there'll be a video on that. But anyway, uh, I went to grab my bore scope, something I don't use a lot. And I figured oh, I'd be pretty protected because Snap-on is awesome about making the case to be able to fit all the batteries in it. So that's what these are for. As a matter of fact, when you buy these new off a, off a truck or whatnot, you'll, they'll tell you right away, like, I, I even grabbed my torque wrench just to prove a point here, that if you have these digital or electronic tools that take batteries, they hit, make the case to be able to store them in there. It's so awesome. But if you don't do that, if you don't take the batteries out, and they were to leak, uh, it would void the warranty and it won't even uh, be covered. So big deal. They know that these these batteries can leak and then it just ruins the equipment. So get them out of there, get them stored and do the right thing. But my torque wrench I use every day. So that one is uh, something that gets some real consistency out of it. But the other thing, I don't know about you, but it seems to me like every time I leave a tool around with batteries where it just sits for a long time, I'll go to grab them and they end up being weak or uh, no good anyway. So I'm kind of in that habit on something that I don't use a lot to grab my tester, test them, and uh, see what I'm working with. In this case, uh, my screen, they were borderline. So these are actually testing. Let me see if I can just grab one, test it quick. It was kind of wild because it's literally right on the verge of being okay, according to the scale. Let's see what this one measures at. Okay, look at that. This is what I saw, like, most of this whole pile here was sitting right at four. Well, four is the bottom of the scale. What they're saying is four and above is supposed to be a good battery. But as you'll see, what happened was my screen was still really erratic, and I was unhappy with it. I've got it fixed now. Turn these on. But the screen would get, you know, crazy erratic, right? And so I didn't like it. And I grabbed the manual thinking, oh, I haven't used this in a while. Is there something I'm not thinking about? And you'll see that there's a great little troubleshooting area in here. This is pretty sweet, so don't be afraid to use your, use your manuals. Okay. And when I get to that troubleshooting section, okay, troubleshooting 16, it very clearly had exactly my problem. Image contains excessive static or snow. The image appears uh, or disappears. First thing, battery power is low, causing a weak signal. Too many obstacles in between, so on. So I thought, you know what, I'll check the batteries. So anyway, they were right at that verge of saying that it was that it was okay. But when you put brand new batteries in, as you'll see, I'll go ahead and test uh, some brand new ones. All right, if you remember, I took this Harbor Freight meter. If you, like I said, if you haven't seen it, of the link below, there's a short version that just blasts through and shows you what I did. And those that are members and want the long version and want to hear me talk about every little bit of it, there's that link there too. But turn on, go to the, the battery tester. And then what I did that was unique on this one is I just glued magnets on there so I can very quickly check the battery this one is definitely low if you look at the scale there we definitely want uh, 4.0 as a minimum and I'm telling you if you're below that 4 it's bad you need a new battery let's check another one gotta get good contact on the tool as well when you put brand new ones in there, it literally is like 4.3, you know, and if you even do a voltage check, these these were tested at like 1.5 volts. And when you put brand new ones in, they're actually closer to 1.6 or some of them even are 1.6 volts. So that little bit of voltage allowed me to have this distance a little further apart and just gave me a better signal. And the tool got much clearer on what I was looking for. Now, why is that so important? Well, 
understanding or understanding what you're working with here and why that's so important means if you're using a multimeter, a torque wrench, a temp gun, no matter what you're using for electronic tools, your results are only going to be as good as your source battery. So can't stress enough that you have to understand that. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to put a link below in the video of a temp gun a uh, video where I took and have uh, a new battery, a weak battery, and a bad battery, and you'll show the see the results of how different the temp gun read. If I was comparing that temp gun to, let's say, a sensor uh, on the motorcycle that I have to heat it up with a heat gun and watch the resistances move around or something, and I'm using the temp gun as that basis to determine if the sensor is good or bad, well, if I have a bad temp gun reading, it's going to tell me my sensor's bad. And then it's just this vicious cycle of replacing parts that aren't actually broke because I'm not testing them accurately. So hopefully this uh, video is just a good little reminder of thinking about the batteries in your testing tools, in your torque wrenches, and anything you're working with batteries, make sure and know how to store them, uh, maintain them, replace them, and so on and so on. So that's my tip of the day. Hope you're all doing well in 2021. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Make it a great day and keep wrenching.